Hey guys, it's Scoo here, and today we're taking a bit of a retro look at this cool Matt Baker figure from Brothers in Arms. This was part of a Brothers in Arms Hell's Highway Collector's Edition, which came out in 2008. It came with the game, it came with a comic book, it came with a map, and it came with this toy. Now, taking a detailed look at it, it's really, really cool. It's about six inches tall. He's wearing his jump boots. He's got his cool camo um, army paratrooper gear on. He's wearing his harness and uh, his M1 helmet. Matt Baker is the sergeant of Fox Company, third platoon in the 101st Airborne Division. And as you can see there on his face, he has a nasty wound on his left cheek. He was fighting the Germans in a really intense battle, which you get to take part in, of course, because it's a game. And a tank basically rolled up and fired point blank at him and caused this nasty, nasty scar on his face. Uh, he, he's got a gash on his forehead and that awful looking scar there on his left cheek. He comes with a bunch of accessories. I've actually lost a couple of them, but uh, shh, you know, here's a picture of all the things he actually comes with. I have most of those things. He's got his jump knife, which is attached to his right leg. That doesn't actually come out of there, but it still looks pretty cool. He's carrying his classic World War II M1 Garand rifle, which was the standard issue rifle given to American troops. They've captured this pretty well. It's got wood grain kind of finish. It's got the metal parts on there. You know, it's quite flimsy and light, but to the eye, it looks like an M1 Garand. The color's about right, that sort of dark wood color. And uh, I think it looks good enough. Now his hands are molded to hold the rifle, but yeah, he doesn't really hold it that well, unfortunately. He has the trigger finger on his right hand, the left hand is sort of cupped to hold the barrel, but it does fit in there and you can get the rifle in there and have him holding it okay. But ultimately it sort of pops out all the time if you just knock it or whatever it comes out. So yeah, it's not the best, but you can get him holding it and it looks okay he doesn't unfortunately really hold it up you know to his shoulder he can't look right down the sights and have a very dynamic looking pose yeah it's a it's not great on his head he's wearing the classic american helmet the m1 helmet it's got the cool kind of mesh pattern on there you can take that off his head if you want to uh, he's got the chin strap there which is uh, more what the paratroopers wore on the left side it's got the letter R, I think that means recon, he was part of a recon battalion or something like that, which were the guys who were pretty much right up, up the very very front. They've recreated some of the patches here that the paratroopers wore, on his right shoulder is the American flag, and on the left shoulder are his sergeant's chevrons, and of course the Screaming Eagle badge, which was the 101st Airborne's um, logo. He has the sort of Marvel Legends standard articulation, minus a few things, ball joints at the shoulders, he's got a swivel at the arm, he can bend the elbow, he can turn his wrists, uh, his head is on a ball joint, um, so a bit of motion there. He doesn't have any waist swivel, but he can move his legs. Um, ultimately though, you can't really have him in too many positions, you can have him in a slightly running position or just kind of straight up standing straight up and down pose um, but you know it's good to have posability unfortunately he can't do a lot now there were a few more accessories I managed to find and the first one is his main parachute um, which can fit on his back with a little peg uh, I didn't really put that on there because you know once these guys got into combat they kind of ditched their parachutes so I took that off and decided to put a just a regular backpack on his back although I've lost the backpack <laughs> so now he has nothing on his back uh, he also came with a couple of little grenades very very tiny um, and they don't really fit on the uniform anywhere in particular so they're just loose so I actually put those away because I knew I would lose them if I didn't and lastly there is his iconic nickel plated Colt M1911 pistol. Uh, it's supposedly in the game is engraved with two Matthew brothers in arms and it was given to him by his dad who was also in the army uh, and Matt takes this uh, into war. The toy version unfortunately it's not engraved with anything it's just a silver pistol there's no writing on it so it you know it could be anyone's um, it's cool that they have it. You can sling it over his shoulder or put it in his hand and he can use it 
so it's great to have it because it is a big part of the game. This toy also came with this map. It's a map of um, Operation Market Garden, which was part of the Hell's Highway game, the last game in the series. And uh, they basically give you this map. It can be put up on your wall or you can do whatever you want with it. And it shows all of the, um, the route that they took through Holland uh, from the south to the north and all the uh, battles that they fought on their way through there before, unfortunately, they were forced to retreat. Yeah, cool to have it. I always like getting a bit of maps. It feels like a real kind of map. It's got kind of scribbled writing on it. it looks quite cool. It looks quite realistic, I guess. And uh, another cool addition to get with the toy. So there you have it, Sergeant Matt Baker, Fox Company, 3rd Platoon, 101st Airborne Division in toy form. The reason I got it was because where else can you get a World War II paratrooper toy? Uh, you know, I mean, you can get them, they are out there, but they're quite hard to find. So when I saw it, I thought, wow, that's cool, that's Matt Baker from that video game that I like so much, and it's also a World War II paratrooper um, as a toy. So those two things combined together are the reason I got it, and I wanted to show this toy to you guys. You know, I love Band of Brothers and Saving Private Ryan and, and all the World War II video games, and I'm glad to some degree they're making a bit of a comeback. So, yeah, this is a cool toy. I had to have it. I'm glad I got it. It's very rare. It's hard to find now. And so I thought I'd share it with you and share my feelings on it. If you guys have anything to say about the Matt Baker character or the Matt Baker toy, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to thumbs up the video, subscribe to the channel. I've been Scoo, I'm out of here for now, and I'll see you next time.